I want to push back against uh, some of the things I've said in the last couple of videos here on the subject of put your ass where your heart wants to be. What I've been saying, and which is completely valid, I believe, is that it's a great idea to move to the epicenter of your dreams. For instance, if you want to be in country music, go to Nashville. If you want to be in fashion, go to New York or Paris or Milan, that kind of thing. But there are plenty of exceptions to this. And I was thinking about William Faulkner, the great writer, who lived his whole life in Oxford, Mississippi, except when he came out to Hollywood to write for the movies. He didn't have to go to Paris or any of these fancy places. Or think about Stephen King. He lives in Maine, or he lives, I think he lives in the winter in Naples, Florida. And those are the only places he goes to. Anne Rice, the great writer about vampires, she lived in New Orleans her whole life, except uh, I'm not sure where she went, Palm Desert or something like that in uh, some part of the year. But she didn't have to go to Paris or Milan or any of these places. And I think you may say, well, okay, that disproves what you've been saying, Steve. But it doesn't, if you think about this, because metaphorically speaking, they all moved in their minds, Faulkner, Stephen King, Anne Rice, anybody, to kind of a Paris in their minds. Metaphorically, they moved to that place. They committed and made, they put their ass where the heart wants to be in the sense that, like if Stephen King is in his office in Maine, he is absolutely at the epicenter of the literary and the writing world, right? He doesn't have to be any place else. So I just wanted to say that particularly nowadays, with the web and with Zoom and social media, a lot of times you can be in Alaska or Minnesota or whatever and still be at the heart of your particular dream, of your epicenter. You know, I'm thinking about uh, our friends uh, Joel and Sienna Cherico of Cherico Pottery in Minnesota. When they go to work, they move out, they go out of their house, they go to the studio in the back, and with all of the people that they're involved with, they are at the epicenter of their dream. So they really have put their ass where their heart wants to be, and they didn't have to go to Paris to do it. Um, I'm thinking of our other friend Jack Carr, the thriller writer of uh, The Terminal List and In the Blood and The Devil's Hand. Uh, Jack lives in Park City, Utah, but he is so present in podcasting and various uh, events that he goes to that he really is at the absolute, he kind of carries his own personal hotspot wherever he is. Further to this idea of, of social media, what I don't mean to say is that if you've got a presence on social media, you can be a dilettante or you can be superficial. Anybody like, uh, like our friend Jack Carr, when he sits down at his desk, he is, his ass is there 100%. He is in his work and giving it everything he's got. The fact that he's on social media really is just a, 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 an element of access that uh, people can access him and he can access the world with his stuff. So you can be, I'm gonna release the pressure on anybody to move to Paris. You can be where you are as long as your ass is where your heart wants to be, as long as you have committed emotionally, intellectually, and spiritually to your dream. And there was one last thing I wanna say on this video, even though I know it's getting a little long, People sometimes ask me, well, you know, I'm, I'm married, I've got a job, I can only spend an hour a day. I mean, does that let me out of putting my ass where my heart wants to be? And the answer is absolutely not. I mean, the muse, the muse does not count the hours that you spend. An hour a day equals seven hours a week or five hours a week equals the equivalent of something like four or five 40-hour weeks in a year. You can write a book in that time. You can write screenplays in that time. So the muse only judges us on how committed we are. Are we really her servants? Have we really put our, our ass, our commitment into what we're trying to do? That's good enough for her. There was a famous moment that I always cite when the director Steven Soderbergh won an Oscar for Best Directing Oscar for Traffic in the year 2000. And he held up the award and he said, this is for everybody who spends one hour a day pursuing their art. And I couldn't agree more. An hour a day, you are not a wannabe artist, you are an artist. You have put your ass where your heart wants to be.